Are you curious to find out how much YouTube can make for you if you start a YouTube channel from scratch? I know I was, but all those videos out there are made by YouTubers who already have millions of subscribers and obviously they make a lot of money. But exactly how much can a small YouTuber make? Because if you were to start a YouTube channel from scratch, it's very likely that you will have to start from zero. That's why in this video, I thought it would be interesting to break down all my stats for you, how much that I make from YouTube with just 5,000 subscribers. I will also be sharing with you some YouTube useful tips to help you to get started quickly so that you can monetize your YouTube channel within the shortest time possible. Buckle up because you won't believe the shockingly real number behind all my YouTube earnings. And not many small YouTubers do this, especially not in the personal finance space. But I just want to be 100% transparent with you because this channel is all about showing you the different opportunities and possibilities that you can unlock by leveling up your finances step by step. I started my YouTube channel back in 2016 and it's been 7 years into my my YouTube journey. Oh my god, seven years have passed and I only have 5,000 subscribers? Before you feel very discouraged and want to give up your content creation journey on YouTube, give me five seconds to explain. The reason why I was much slower was because I only found the right niche and became very consistent in posting about one and a half years ago. As you can see, I started my channel talking about travel. And for close to two years, I kept on posting a lot of travel related content. However, that didn't help me to grow my followers at all. So if you are new, my advice for you is don't start with a travel niche. One of my YouTube mentors, Shen, who helps to coach and manage many famous Japanese celebrities once told me, if you are not famous, don't start a travel channel because the sad truth is most people are not interested to see you travel. Becoming a successful travel influencer is way more difficult than you can imagine because the space has become so competitive over the years. And after learning that, I start to pivot. And as you can see, I was struggling to find my niche for a while. But I roughly know that I wanted to go into the direction of wealth creation and content creation. So I made all sorts of different content from driving traffic to websites, to sales, to eventually niching down to investing. And when I started posting investing content much more regularly, like once a month since August 2021, my followers started to grow. In case you don't know, in order to make money from YouTube, you must satisfy two criteria. The first one is you must have 1,000 subscribers. And the second one is you must have 4,000 hours of watch time on your YouTube long form content, which really took me quite some time to get until I found my right niche and started doubling down on my consistency. Started from this year, I wanted to up my game even further by posting a video once a week. This is because I really want to give more values to my followers to inspire them to start investing safely. And secondly, by producing more content, it will also help me to grow my follower base faster in the long run. By the way, if you find this content helpful, remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever I post new content like this. Once I was eligible to make money, how much did I start making? As you can see, my revenue has been zero for a long, long time. And then at the beginning of February last year, things start to change differently. And on the first week of monetization, I made $6.20. I know that sounds really little, but the key is to keep going. Week two, I made $46.80. Week three, $21.36. So for the whole last year, my weekly earning hovering between $20 to about $40. But wait, Chloe, there's some months that you didn't make any single cent. What's going on? As you can see from June to August, there was no earnings coming in. That is because I made a huge, huge mistake of not verifying my Google AdSense account earlier and eventually Google decided to stop calculating my earnings so the lesson is verify your AdSense account as soon as possible. Eventually with all the hiccups, the whole process took me about two months. So if you don't want your earnings to suffer like I did, make sure you verify your AdSense account as soon as possible. In total for the whole 2022, I make $1,168.84. That is in terms of USD and if you convert it back to Singapore dollars, that's about 1,500 sing. Doesn't sound like a lot, huh? Wait until you see what happened this year. But before I review to you how much I made this year, I want to share with you why do I think YouTube is such a great platform for you to get started. One of the things that drew me to YouTube was its unique business model. Once you put out videos on YouTube, they become your digital assets that keep making money for you. And you don't have to keep putting in the work for the videos to make money for you. That's why I have videos that I created more than one and a half years ago are still making me income today. Unlike other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, when older content quickly become irrelevant, YouTube's algorithm continues to recommend relevant videos to new audience because it's a search-based platform. It's 
it's also an incredible feeling knowing that the videos that you produced some time ago are still providing value to new audience. With that, let's take a look at how much I have made this year on YouTube. With only 5,000 subscribers, I made about $427 so far. On average, that's about $130 per month. Although it doesn't sound impressive, but to me, it's better than none. And having an, an extra $130 per month also means that I have more money to invest in the stock and options market to grow my wealth further from there. By the way, if you are interested to learn how you can start investing step by step, check out the video right here. You may also realize that from the beginning of this year, on top of posting my YouTube long form content, I have also been uploading a lot of short form content onto YouTube Shorts. And if you look closely, all these videos are basically reposting from my TikTok channel. Although shots like this won't make me much ads revenue, I still encourage you to post them on your channel because they will help you to grow your subscribers faster. For example, these one minute shots about quiet quitting make me zero income, but it gave me 63 subscribers. And this video of generating passive income through options gave me nine subscribers. All these small numbers of subscribers will add up to a bigger pool, thus helping you to achieve your first thousand subscribers much, much faster. Furthermore, all these subscribers right now are also more likely to watch my YouTube long form content because YouTube will now push my videos to them. So that will also help to contribute to more watch time on my YouTube long form content, thereby increasing my ads earning. So the more value that you create, the more subscribers you will gain, the more watch time you will have, and the more earnings you will get. And this virtuous cycle will repeat itself. That's why apart from YouTube, I highly encourage you to start your TikTok channel as well. In fact, I only started my TikTok last year, March, and within one year's time, it gained more than 200,000 subscribers. It's a lot faster to grow your followers there on TikTok, but the whole monetization process is totally different from YouTube. So if you are interested to learn how I monetize my TikTok channel to make me over four figure US dollar income every single month, do let me know in the comment section below. In conclusion, starting your channel and showcasing your work online can be an incredibly fulfilling journey. Not only does it give you monetary reward, it can also open up a world of opportunities for you in the long run. If you are hesitant about taking a leap, I have to say that it's absolutely worth it. By sharing your unique talent and skill set with the rest of the world, you have the power to inspire and positively impact countless individuals all over the world. So if you're on the fence about starting something new, take this as your sign to go for it. Don't wait for the perfect moment or for anything to fall into place. Just take that first step and watch all the amazing opportunities and experiences unfold. Let's inspire each other and make the most out of our unique talent and passion. And who knows, your videos could be generating you income for years to come. If you find today this video helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up because your support means a lot to me. Do join my Telegram channel as well if you are keen to learn how can you use investing and options to increase your passive income. Also check out some of the videos right here to learn more about wealth creation. With that, I will see you in the next video. Arigato!